<clears throat> What's up, everybody? I'm feeling a little emotional right now. I just walked out of the restaurant where I get the best meal I eat all week, every week here with what my menu is here, living how I'm living. And I don't know if it's just because I'm just realizing that this is probably it for me. This is probably how my life's gonna be until my time is up here. But I usually eat like right by the bar and so the, the bartender lady, she's always, she's usually my, my waitress. And she just, it's not like she did anything really too extraordinary. I mean, for a while there, for, she was, uh, she always would send me back to the hotel with like free biscuits, like a, a big thing of biscuits for free. And the Lord finally told me to stop doing that, but stop eating all those biscuits. But just her kindness. She just had that little bit of just sugar about her, you know, a little bit of love. And uh, I just thought I would remind everybody that that can go a long way for someone's soul. Especially these days when a lot of us live in isolation we have no support system a lot of us don't have any real friends or family support system armor bear anything you know and uh just someone just being kind just someone just being kind can do so much for someone's soul sometimes Just giving someone that little bit of extra attention. Now granted, you know, yeah, she's doing her job and, and whatever. But, you know, you can tell someone's demeanor, you know. And she just has this kindness about her. And, and uh, she just always takes care of me, you know, like... I write her out like like right now I need I need four dollars of quarters for laundry so I write her out like an extra four dollars in the tip and I ask her hey can I get four dollars back you know in, in quarters if possible you know and like a lot of people would find that to be like a nuisance or whatever but she knows that I'm in full-time ministry she knows I'm living in a hotel and I can tell that she genuinely doesn't mind you know and uh I don't know, it's just something about her way, you know, just her demeanor. She just has this kindness. She always makes sure to greet me and, you know, and sometimes we even give each other a little hug goodbye and it's just, I'm hearing the word fellowship, you know, like a lot of us don't have even that church fellowship to just get that church hug, you know. And I guess you could say it's pathetic to have to value something like this with a waitress at a restaurant, a bartender at a restaurant or whatever, but it's the little things that just can make, you know, when, when you're, when your love tank, talking about like the five love languages, when, when your love tank is pretty much empty and it's been empty for years, you know, just that little bit of kindness from somebody every now and then. It's like water in a desert, you know? It's so valuable. It's so refreshing. And I just thought I would just remind everybody, be kind. Be kind. The Bible tells us to have love, to have charity. And if we have no love, we have nothing. And Yeshua told us that if we've seen someone in need and we don't do anything to help them. He's going to count that against us. He's going to se separate the sheep from the goats. And uh, 
You know, a few weeks ago, the Lord had me reach out to a fellow female in ministry and ask her to ask the Lord if it was his will for her to help me out. Never got a response. And this morning, I reached out to someone who has a very large following that God told me to. And they at least acknowledged me. They wrote back and they said, oh, we're going to forward this to our prayer warrior team. And prayer is good. Prayer is great. And prayer can be effective. But scripture tells us that sometimes we need to do something in the natural, not just in the spirit. Sometimes we need to do something to actually help someone in the natural, in the physical world, on a body level, give them food, give them a hug. I guess a hug would be more on like a soul level, but you know what I mean. Um, give them some money, you know, whatever it is they need, help them out, do, do a little something, you know. Help someone carry their bags, open a door, you know, pull out a chair. Do something to help somebody. And do it with a smile, you know, with a, a genuine smile, a genuine just like, you know, I'm happy to show you some love as my fellow human being, you know. I don't know why. I, I, I mean, I, I, I guess I do know why. It's just that I'm, I'm just realizing that this is it. This is it. This is my life. And the little bit of like connections. See, everywhere I go, I've been living like this for over two years now. And everywhere I go, there's usually at least one person somewhere in like a restaurant or something that the Lord's kindness and favor is given to me. And that just makes my day or it makes my week. We all need a little love, you know? We all need a lot of love. But when you're starved for love, when someone is starved for love and you just give them a genuine smile, give them a little church hug, do a little something, give them a little bit of favor, with a smile on your face, you know, it can go so far for someone's soul. Anyway.